generation. Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the community show that is addicted to film dissolves. Yes. Anyway, let's just get started. Project Borealis has recently taken to Reddit to answer some burning fan questions in the form of an anniversary AMA. In this AMA, the PB team answered questions like how many people are working on it, what Valve thinks of the project, and who is going to voice the characters, and much, much more. The thread is pretty large and a whole bunch of interesting questions are answered here. If you want to see those for yourself, go ahead and click the link in the description that'll bring you straight to the Reddit thread. At the start of this year, it was announced that Philip Marlowe, the person originally behind RunThinkShootLive.com, was leaving the Half-Life community. But now, he's going a little bit further. Philip is actually selling most of his Half-Life collection, including all of his boxed games, and a signed copy of Raising the Bar, which is pretty insane. It's currently not known yet how he's going to do it, or even if he's going to go through with it. He did say he was thinking about selling most of his collection, which doesn't necessarily mean that he is certainly gonna do it. Now, if you want to keep being posted about this, I've left a link in the description below to his Twitter page. You should go give him a follow. Talking about her raising the bar, raising the bar redux is teasing something. Hmm, we have a few exclusive things here to show off to you guys. One of these items is a screenshot of an industrial area, which looks pretty detailed. We also have a supposed arcade machine, which looks pretty nice as well. And we got an ant lion looking creature standing there menacingly. Ooh. Anyway, if you want to know what any of this is going to lead to, I'd keep an eye on the Raising the Bar Redux ModDB page this Sunday. There might be an update coming your way. Yes, of course, it's linked in the description, dummy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a Half-Life meme review. The segment where I'm going to take a look at Half-Life memes, and I'm going to audibly breathe out of my nose of joy if I see a good one. Okay, no, I'm not actually going to review memes, but what I am going to do is tell you about this Half-Life related theme that's going around the internet right now that involves the game's sound effects because apparently Half-Life's sound effects are so iconic and somewhat funny that every movie scene that ever touched the silver screen needs to have them added to it. A few examples are a scene from Back to the Future, The Shining, and more. Now, for copyright reasons, we won't be playing them here, but you can look them up on YouTube just by typing in Half-Life SFX in the same search field you use to look up all things Lambda every single week. That's what you do. Right? Connor Bremner's project Covalent is back in the news this week, and not just with some random concept art, but with some actual comic pages for us to read. In these pages, our protagonists, Nori and Wreck, are captured by the Dead Men, which forces Wreck to show us a side of him we would have never thought we would ever see. You know, I'd actually love to do a dub of these pages one day, but there is not enough time to do it in this episode of All Things Lambda, so if you guys want to see or hear me do that, tell us in the comment section below. And if you want to read these comic pages yourself without them panning over the screen like this, I've left a link in the description below to the tweet. So we've all seen the Half-Life 2 beta at this point, right? Well, how about we revisit that particular art style but then in the Gold Source engine? I mean, the Half-Life 2 beta engine is kind of already a cross between Source and Gold Source, but this is pure 100% Gold Source, baby. Okay, well... Zash 3D. Now, there are other mods on the scene like this, but this mod is different because it features an all-original storyline. Now, there isn't really much known about the storyline yet, so I'm curious where this is gonna go, but looking at the amount of screenshots and the quality of the mapping, this is already looking pretty good. Now, if you want to see more of this, I've left a link in the description below to the ModDB page. Sometimes, when we dig through ModDB for new mods to discuss, we find something really nice. Like Dead Lab, the mod we're going to give a little bit of a spotlight to right now. Dead Lab is a mod that takes place in its own unique setting and story, but it runs on the Half-Life 2 Episode 2 engine, and the mapping and custom content looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. The shared detail in these maps are incredible. Now, there is already an alpha version available, which you can see running in the background right now. It's a bit different from the screenshots that you've seen just now, but that's because the screenshots that I showed were quite new. That's what the mod is looking like right now. 
If you want to learn more about this mod, like the story, I've left a link in the description that'll take you straight to the ModDB page. But hey, you know what doesn't take you straight to the ModDB page? Our social media links that are linked in the description below. They just take you to the social media pages. And they're also covering my face right now. As usual. Oh, and don't forget to join our Discord server too. There we can continue the conversation. Also, follow me on Twitter. It's at Farloomi. And that, coupled with my YouTube channel, is also linked in the description down below. I'm currently working on some new videos, so that should be out soonish, I... I certainly hope, at least. Anyway, I think this is a good time to end episode 58 of All Things Lambda. We'll be back next week with some more community news. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon to never miss another All Things Lambda. Salutations and take care.